so good at dare cancels on platforms. He's so good at his movement, and he's really good at capitalizing big on damage with side back of the cancels. And we're going to be seeing a lot of yeah. that probably here with Battlefield. Now, and we'll say that this as a matchup. I think it's actually pretty even between the two. Um, in a way, both characters kind of play the game that they want to. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Yoshi can't really combo Ness the way that Yoshi would like to. Ness can't really combo Yoshi the way he would like to. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, it's kind of just the neutral is just you really have to outspace your opponent. Yep. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, and a big thing with Ness is that he loves to go for option coverage in the air often. Those fairs, those nears, try to keep people grounded. And also, shout out to PK Chris once again for picking this song. I believe it's uh, like Kirsch or something like that from Tekken. Uh, played this music a lot, and this is a banger. So, uh, this match is going to be off, starting off hot. Right now, both of them giving themselves optimal respect. It's like you're saying, as Yoshi, you need to find that one confirm. You do not want to be jumping in on Ness a whole lot here. I will say that double jump armor from Yoshi is so important right now. And it's also really important that it allows you to eat through Ness's hits. Mm -hmm. And the fact that now he's at 97% means that if he gets knocked off stage, he can't quite so comfor comfortably uh, jump into something like, say, a back air or neutral air. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now, now, like, a big thing here is find stage positioning if you're, uh, if you're PK Chris, too. Because Raptor is definitely looking for that ledge trap. He wants to control you at the ledge as often as possible. But for PK Chris, he wants to find not just a back throw for a kill, but to find one for a stage position that is going to kill, though, because he got the extra damage on. Now he's going to take the stock. Really good stuff from PK Chris right there. Oh, but the good stuff keeps coming. Ooh. Raptor with the immediate response. That forward air actually being really important. This is a matchup where Yoshi can struggle to kill. If he's not finding back airs, you know, mm -hmm. in neutral, then it can be a real struggle. So the fact that that stock went down so hard the way that it did was uh, really important. Yeah, make sure you establish dominance early. Tries to find the tech chase. Gets at least a bit of the, the forward air. Doesn't get the, the knockdown he's hopefully looking for to try and snipe a jump from PK Chris off the stage. But PK Chris... Putting out those Fortis, trying to uh, change it up a bit by using PK Fire on the platform to maybe catch a jump from Raptor. Yeah. But look at them, both of them just throwing out hits uh, straight in the air. There's that back throw for ledge position now. That's going to trade off with the egg toss and not committing too hard because you realize he didn't have enough pressure on Raptor to try and go for the ledge trap there. Oh, yeah, and if you notice, what is Raptor's favorite tool in the neutral? It's the forward air. The reason why is because it's a, with Yoshi's great aerial mobility, he can sort of drift backwards, stay out of range, and then perhaps, you know, if uh, PK Chris misspaces his move, that forward air can lead into so much reward. It does like 15% or so on hit, and then if you uh, actually get the uh, sweet spot, it can do even more damage than that. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Now, now things get scary. Once you start seeing PK Chris drop out a bunch of those back airs, also, he's, yo, all right, you want me to come to you get a grab fine i'll go ahead and meet you out there trying to catch him on the reverse with the egg toss to force him into hit stun so the pk thunder 2 will stop and trying to ca uh, catch a forward air doesn't find it but now we're seeing the drop down back uh up air and up Ooh, that yoshi yeah. very smart using the egg toss to get by that yeah that's one thing about this matchup is that ness cannot well ness can still do that <laughs> he can always do that but ness can't really ledge trap in the way that he normally would mm -hmm. he can't just throw out pk fires at the ledge he can't just you know go for the um the up smashes and the down smashes because a, Yoshi has the egg throw, but also he will armor through those mm -hmm. multi-hits that normally lead into the down smash. Absolutely. Oh my god, as well. There's those PK fires we talked about before. PK fire is actually a pretty good tool to you check Yoshi's jumps, but mm -hmm. there's that forward air, not even needing the back air, catching him, drifting away, probably trying to get away from him right there. And uh, that's gonna get us to an even game. Super close game one here. Yeah, I mean the reason like the reason why that forward air is so good in this matchup is that throwing it out basically it, it doesn't require approaching really. You throw it out and you kind of retreat a little bit with it. That does mean that you eventually kind of sacrifice some stage positioning, but look at the way that Raptor is trying to gain it back just by walking forwards. Ooh. That was a slick delay, but we're going blow for blow right now. This is trading in ways that I normally don't see this matchup pan out. Absolutely. I oh, almost trying to almost finding the drag down up air right there. Trying to keep that damage on. Looking for the back air. Going for the back door. Almost catching him on the forward air. And now he's got to find a way back down. PK Chris looking for the PK Thunder. Trying to find the up air, but he just misses Salty. And now we're both of them pretty much at kill percent. Especially if PK Chris gets caught by an egg toss at the ledge.
Oh, Ooh. that down is going to be big damage. Beautiful SDI. Oh, but it cost him. He's going to jump into oh. it. And with that float, <laughs> yes, he's going to be able to take game one. Raptor with beautiful okay. play right okay. there. Okay, I'm here for it. I was really smart because we were talking before about he need that one egg toss to find maybe a fair. But what I wasn't expecting was the egg toss into the tech chase and then just go ahead. Oh, your air dodge is gone? Cool. You know what I just need to do? Trade with your recovery, yeah. my dude. That's going to kill you every time. So here's the thing about that. I believe it was he SDI'd out of the down air, but buffered the air dodge. Yeah. He was right to you know to get out of that down air. That's so much damage if you don't. But the fact that uh like that ended up really costing him. And oh yes, that's another thing that if you are Ness and you are not uh you know, if you don't respect the fact that Yoshi can double jump armor. By the way, as soon as that jump comes out, he gets armor frame one. Yeah, he could go for that Yoshi bomb like we saw a second ago too. But now these PK fires getting a lot of damage and PK Chris. Uh, trying to get in, but Raptor's playing the fadeaway. I have better buttons game. He's just kind of drifting out, using these nares, using these back airs. Kind of is just some simple checks to make sure that he doesn't get in. Oh, oh jab that's lock. A Tried to go for a buffered roll instead of just capitalizing off of the jab lock. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't get anything out of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can understand why. If he had rolled in, that might have been the stock entirely. You know, that would have killed him as opposed to just getting damaged. Possibly. So, that or yeah. send him at a really bad angle by holding in on the roll. Uh, right now, he, like you can you can see Raptor trying to find a falling up air or something or the fair to confirm into the up air. Mm. But that forward air, does he get at the ledge? No, he waits for the roll in but doesn't get anything out of it. Oh man, look at this. They're just going back and forth right now. The neutral, you can see how Ooh. these two really respect. Know that the zone the other one can put themselves in. Did you see the spacing on that? He jumped, stalled with the side magnet, somehow dodged an egg matrix style and got that back in for the first stock. That just actually could be really oh! big for him. Ooh. Oh, that would have been huge if he got the PK Thunder 2 there. But now he's capitalizing big, using the down air to cancel his momentum on the platform. Trying to find his way back in. The Raptor forcing him to recover with the side magnets. And that's too many. And that's going to get the kill there with the Nair. All right, evening up the stock count, but that's 70% onto Yoshi already. And in this matchup, that percent really does matter because once you get to the point where, oh, now back throw is going to be killing mm -hmm. me. Oh, now back air is going to be killing me. And Ness has so many kill options, and they just become available one after the other, and it makes the neutral that much harder to play. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Now he's forced to recover high. Tried to cover maybe an air dodge or a down B out of uh, Raptor right there. Raptor not giving it to him, though. At 137%, you're pretty much in danger for any throw, which means PK Chris is probably going to be looking for a jump from you instead, much like a back air. It looks like he's hunting for very, very soon. Yeah, the Yoshi double jump armor is so good for getting out of that PK fire. Normally, like, characters get caught in that, and they just sort of explode. Not the case with Yoshi. And because of that, look at that surviving at 100. Oh, this should be it, though. Oh! Yeah. What? Actually not getting, like, a strong enough hit off of that down smash. So Raptor gets to live just a little bit longer. Yoshi, all he needs is, like, one F tilt to get a big damage. That right there, though, met the insane mash out to get away from that egg, to, uh, egg lay as quick as he did to uh, get the trade to get the kill. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh. Oh! Ooh, okay, okay. I, oh my goodness, trying to take my soul away from me, man. Keep he's, doing this. He's been doing it like every time. He wants it. He wants to end this game as quickly as he can. He still respects the fact that Raptor, really solid combo game, really good ledge trapping. So despite how much up he is right now, if Raptor gets the chance to really run over him, it will. Man, oh, oh, this is actually big, wait, possibly. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what? Actually, that was smart. He's, he's dead. Like, oh, yeah, he's went dead. so deep. Looking for the capitalization there on that second egg lay to maybe catch the forward air or something. But because he took that second egg hit, I don't think Raptor was ready for that. He kind of faked, like, here's the first one. Then he comes in with the second one. He took the hit. It looked like he was going to die. And he tried to catch him with the nair. Unfortunately, though, just a little bit too so far. So he also lost the egg heights. Mm. That's why he wasn't able to make it back to ledge. He could have air dodged in that instance, I believe. And he would have been able to make it back fine. Yeah, that's... Um, Oh, there we go. That's what you're talking about before that spacing. And also, we knew he was put off stage. He tried to go reverse fair, too. So, PK Chris here in game number two, much more aware of, like, the danger that has been in front of him. But that right there, those side magnet cancels only last for so long. But we get a game number three in what has been an incredible set so far between Raptor and uh, PK Chris.
Oh yeah, real back and forth. And honestly, this is the kind of set that has so much good neutral in it. The spacing is paramount. Both of these characters have really good spacing tools in general in the neutral. And so you're going to definitely see these characters exploit that. Oh, that buffered air dodge. He's dead. Oh, He's yep. dead, that's, dude. After he, yeah, that's the second time in this set we've seen a buffer air dodge cost someone a stock. First time it was uh, PK Chris in that for in the last stock, but this one here. Detrimental issues now because Raptor has to fight so hard to get back and PK Chris can just throw as many arrows as he want to get those trades because he's stock up. Yeah, and this is the sort of thing where right here, right now, if Raptor manages to make back this differential, mm -hmm. it's a very Ooh, even game. All okay. right, he was not phased by that at all. I mean, it's Yoshi in general, even though sometimes you do just die at zero, mm -hmm. you kind of get used to it, it never doesn't sting. But Raptor's been playing this character since the Brawl days. He knows that sometimes that's what happens, and all you gotta do is keep your head in the game. That's what he's doing right now. Keeping things, I wouldn't say even, but mm -hmm. at the very least, you can tell he has fight in him. And there's, if uh, PK Chris doesn't keep his wits about him, he might see this game slip away from him. Yeah, he needs to make sure he keeps that same position. Oh, misses the drag down. Let's get a throw right there on the whip. Not enough yet. We've talked about the weight of Yoshi. Ah, uh, weight don't matter, though. When you get caught slipping, that looks like it hurt. That is going to be a thunder catching him. Uh, and now, massive lead here for PK Chris. Yeah, before this was going to be a toughie for Raptor, but he could not set reverse momentum. You know, if you loot, if you die like that first stock, but then manage to take back the next stock, in a way that's like a, yeah, I gave Ooh. you a free stock and we're even right now. But that's not what this is. He's getting kind of thrown all around, and he can't find a way to actually end the stock. Oh, okay. It looked like PK Chris got a little bit too scared when he went for that reverse egg toss. So this is still doable, because even though PK Chris is playing very well with a lead, all Raptor needs is one good edge guard, or possibly a PK Thunder Snipe, which we saw before. You don't need it to be on last stock to go for it. You can get it. So if he finds a good yeah. nair, pushes him off stage, or like this, he might be able to find a forward air. But PK Chris saw through it, put out that forward air as fast as possible to make sure he got the trade at minimum. Yeah. You know, honestly, <laughs> oh, I, I'm not going to talk about what a possible win condition is for Raptor just yet because he is so far from it at this moment. 123%. PK Chris has just been playing the neutral beautifully, not falling victim to any of Yoshi's big combo starters or anything of the like. Oh, man. 61% is all that's been dealt. Yes. Whereas Raptor, he's, he's on death's door, knocking and knocking. This is looking so frightening. Oh, almost catches it. But the reverse hit in there is going to take it. That's going to be PK Chris moving forward here in the best of three, taking it over Raptor. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. Oh, big pop off going on in the other room there, son. Oh, what's going on over there? Wait, hold up. I don't know who, so, somebody getting big so upset. If you are not watching the other stream, by the way, make sure you go ahead and follow both streams that are yeah. going on with Collision in-house. But incredible gameplay right now coming in from uh, PK Chris versus Raptor in that set. PK Chris capitalizing on that early buffered air dodge that did cost Raptor that stock, but Raptor had a couple moments where he could have gotten it if he got that fair instead of PK Chris getting that trade on the fair. That could have been an even game, but unfortunately for him, did not get the hit, takes it out, and that's going to be him moving on to winners. Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, good stuff to PK Chris. We're gonna be he's living up to his seeding, mm -hmm. living up to that new PR. It's I love the fact that he's one of those types of players that he's been gunning for it for years and years, and he gets there and it's not he's not resting on mm -hmm. his laurels. He's like, I am made it to number ten. Next time I'm gonna make it to number five, right, PK Chris?